Quick Tech 101. Today I have just a really quick, simple, practical. Now, not every time I make food do I do it from scratch. I mean, come on, no one does. I'm sure even Jamie and Gordon, they don't make everything from scratch. Every time they want to have a meal, and I certainly don't, don't do that either. So today I'm going to, sh to make up my, my own meal, a quick meal using what I would refer to as standard food components. Now what is a standard component? A standard component is an example of a pre-prepared um, food product that is used as an ingredient when preparing food. I've got two examples of a standard component. So today I'm going to use some quick onion gravy just as boiling water, a standard component because you're not making the gravy from scratch. And to complement that, I've got some Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to embellish or use the gravy as an ingredient. I'm going to add some onions, fry out the sausages, uh, and I'm going to make a meal just from those simple components. Before we get started, just do me a quick favour. Click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Okay, let's get to it. So for my evening meal, I'm going to have um, bangers or sausages in an onion gravy and I've got some vegetables just steaming there. So I'm going to have some broccoli and some peas. So first of all, my standard component, my onion granules, add in some boiling water and give that a bit of a stir. One other thing about these instant gravies, they thicken nicely straight away. In fact, I'm going to add a touch more water to that, it looks a bit thick. And in no time at all, we have a nice gravy. It smells pretty good too. So this is going to be the base that I'm going to use to do my bangers. So I'm just going to put this to one side and start on the next component. Next, my bangers or sausages, same thing. Okay, so I'm going to use my sausages now, my second standard component. Uh, pre-made sausages. We haven't made them from scratch ourselves, but we use them as an ingredient uh, in a dish. These are red onion and rosemary sausages by Linda McCartney. I'm just gonna pop these in. I'm cooking them straight from frozen, so they speed it up. I'm gonna put lid on. Then get a nice roast on. Probably take about five to eight minutes to cook. And then partway through, I'm gonna go to the next stage to make our special gravy. Okay, let's see how our sausages are getting on. They're browning up nicely. Now they haven't fully cooked through yet. But the next stage, to make our meal a bit more special, I'm gonna add some, some onions to that. A bit of pork around. So we've got our, we're gonna use our standard component, which is the onion gravy, but we're making it a bit more legit by actually adding and roasting off, frying off some actual Onions. I'm just going to fry them off and sweat down a little bit with the lid on. And it smells fantastic already. So it's just amazing how you can just take a standard component like a pre prepared sausage and by adding a few more ingredients to it, you make that same standard component a little bit more special. And it's taken a fraction of the time. So I'm just going to cut these down for a few more minutes. The next stage is add the gravy. And then we have our onion gravy with our bangers, nicely seasoned, nicely flavoured. I would not have to do an awful lot of work by which time my steamed veg will be ready, plate up, happy days, dinner time. Well here we go, not too far off now. Sausage is nice and brown, so our onions, final stage now, it's just to add our standard component which is the gravy. Our onion gravy. Now do you think every time you go somewhere and they give you sausages with an onion gravy, they've made that gravy entirely from scratch. I guarantee that maybe 99 times out of 100, unless you're going to a really fancy, expensive place, they've not made this from scratch. They've used standard components, pretty similar to what we've used today. Maybe a stock gravy powder, where they've added either some seasoning to it, or they've added some onions, or they've added a few special components. But from just a few simple components, there we have a nice, tasty dish. Now, you could, if you wanted, you could easily make this bangers and mash with nice onion gravy. I'm going to go slightly less carby today, and I'm going to have bangers with steamed vegetables. All right, I think we're ready to plate up. So in here, I've just got my 
steamed broccoli and peas, a little bit of vegan butter, a pinch of salt. I'm not even going to be that pretty with that really, I'm just going to literally get it all on my plate. I'm going to have all this, so it's not going to look pretty with all this veg on my plate, but it is dinner time. Not everything I eat is Pinterest worthy, so let's just get it on here. Not essential, but it's just a little bit of a nice touch, well, flavour-wise. A little squeeze of lemon, a little touch of acidity, a little squeeze of lemon over my veg. And then I'll kiss the resistance, our onion gravy. Our onion gravy made with standard components. Lovely onions. And there we have it. Bangers, vegan bangers with onion gravy, peas and broccoli, steamed peas and broccoli, with a touch of lemon, topped in a bit of butter. That's my tea. Only took about 10 minutes. A thing we know.